Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English News of Infant Radio, television station and newspaper. I'm Ngoc Thuy and following us has lives for today. Church need to overthrow pompous regimes, a church girl for cautions. A church in traffic linking Trân Thành and Hoa Lư. Vietnam resounds, rest a map to House of European history. Only brightening longer in sunlight years, high economic efficiencies. Ladies and gentlemen, the governments of Vietnam and Cambodia have a house ceremony marking the 45th anniversary of the victory over the genocidal pompous regimes in Cambodia as the S16 complex in Lopnin district, Binh Phước Province. I would like to express my gratitude to the people of Hoa Lư Hamlet in village 9 of Lop Tấn Commune, Lop Linh district, for helping me 45 years ago when I set foot on this land. Words scarcely describe how grateful I am for that support. I remember clearly that day, on June 21, 1977, I was given rice by Vietnamese people after a year suffering hunger in the forest, seeking a way to save my country. The meal on that day was priceless. Today I want to express my sincere gratitude to the Vietnamese people, including those who sacrificed their lives to help free Cambodians from the Pol Pot regime and obtain peace. With support from the Vietnamese party, state and people, Hun Sen and his comrades set up the Cambodian Front for National Salvation and worked together with Vietnamese volunteer soldiers to overthrow the Pol Pot regime on January 7, 1979, thereby saving millions of Cambodian people and bringing peace to the country. At a ceremony hosted by Cambodia in Mima district, Phnom Krum province, Prime Minister Pha Minh Ching underscored that the journey to overthrow the genocide of Pol Pot regime was a historical milestone in the struggle for conscience, dignity and justice, and serves as proof of the close-knit Vietnam-Cambodia ties and loyal friendships and solidarity. On this occasion, we pay tribute to the heroic contribution and sacrifice of peoples of the two countries and honor the traditional Vietnam Cambodian friendship, thereby affirming justice and the contribution to noble ideals of progressive forces in the world. Prime Minister Ching and his Cambodian counterpart visited the construction site of the Technocnot Mart A16 military historical zone in Memo District in Tanom Krum Province. The two leaders planted memorial trees and attended a ribbon cutting ceremony for Cambodia Vietnam Friendship House. Leaders of Binfur Province recently attended a meeting with the relevant agencies on adjustment to a project building a road to the west of National Road Number 13, connecting Trân Thành and Hoa Lư, crossing Hơn Quảng districts. The traffic road to the west of National Road 13, linking Trân Thành and Hoa Lư, and crossing Hơn Quảng district, will see three adjustments. To ensure it is aligned with planning, in addition to the regulation at the beginning and end points, the section running through Tong Le Chan regions of about 3.7 kilometers will be adjusted. Vice Chairman of the Bing Phu People's Committee, Huynh Anh Minh, asked project investors to work closely with the locality in conducting compensation procedures and completing paperwork before construction to avoid any complaints. Vài residents of Diplomatic Academy of Vietnam Nguyễn Hùng Sơn have resented the mass of great countries of Annam to the house of European history in the Brussels, Belgium. The presentation is a vivid illustration of the global relations between Vietnam and Belgium in the fields of politics, cultures, and histories. The special map 
which is 84 cm long and 45 cm wide, was drawn by James Louis Talbot from France and published in India, San City in 1838. It depicts the archipelagos of Paracel as Seo Kapang, the Huangsa archipelago within Vietnamese waters. It was the largest and most complete map of Vietnam at the time. Its name is written in three languages, Han, Chinese characters, Vietnamese script, and Laurent script. All landmarks of the map, including those in China, Laos, and Cambodia, are written in Vietnamese script. While the footnotes are in Vietnamese, Lion, and French characters, the parcel as Seo Kavang, written on the map of Firm Sad, the archipelago is Kavang, or Hoang Sa in Vietnamese. The presentation of the map helps international friends gain a better understanding of Vietnamese history and a deeper insight into the history of the East Sea and the current situation in the waters. We're delighted to receive the map from Vietnam. It will help both researchers and visitors understand more about Vietnam's geographical history. I hope that cooperation and exchange between two sides in history and culture will continue to expand. During his stay in Belgium and Europe, Sun also received 13 sets of documents on Vietnamese borders and territory from international law professor Jane Salmond including a valuable document set on Vietnam's Huangsa Archipelago, written in 1960. Samsung Display Vietnam and the Vietnamese Student Association in the Republic of Korea has signed a memorandum of understanding on corporations in the organizations of recruitment workshops expected to create new job opportunities for Vietnamese students and also have tightened the two countries' friendships. Under the document, which was signed at the Vietnamese Embassy in Seoul, the two sides will work together to hold such functions for all Vietnamese undergraduates and postgraduates. The two sides hope to seek high-quality human resources for Samsung Display Vietnam and equip the students with useful job-seeking information and skills. This June, they will hold recruitment workshops at five famous universities of the Republic of Korea. It takes about two months for the men's longer season to be harvested, but in some districts in the northern province of Sơn La, many households have already started harvesting early ripening longan with a higher profit. The local longan varieties on an area of more than a hectare that are decades old. From Thị Thanh's family cut and grafted the early ripened tea seed variety provided by the Fruit and Vegetable Research Institute. She says that although it is nearly two months before the main longan season will be harvested, her family has harvested also early ripened longan for many times. The value of early ripened longan is four to five times higher than from the main season. The highest price for longan at the beginning of the season was some $2.6 per kilo and is now around $1.8. Local farmers like us are very happy with the price. Our cooperative has converted to early ripening longan, which earns high economic efficiency. Since the beginning of the season, four to five tons of longan have been sold. Sunlet is also applying new agricultural production methods, such as spreading crops and churning the time of firing and fruiting for different crops to reduce oversupply. Sunla has begun to grow new varieties with high economic value during the off-season to avoid overlaps with regular crops. Our early ripening T6 longan variety is harvested one and a half to two months earlier than regular longan varieties. Some Madiches has a longan growing area of more than 7,500 hectares, including about 500 hectares of early ripened longan. 
The district is coordinating with the Research Institute of Fruit and Vegetables on guiding farmers to wrap ripe and long varieties in different seasons to reduce market pressures and increase incomes for farmers. The Vietnamese Food Festival, organized by the Vietnamese Association in France and the foreign Vietnam organizations in Paris last weekend, attracted a large number of local people. This was the second year the festival has been held within the framework of the ICI Vietnam Festival's activities. To introduce the cultural identity of Vietnam to French, France. Representatives from 26 associations, unions, businesses and restaurants of the Vietnamese community in France brought many dishes and drinks typical of different regions in Vietnam to the festival. These include beef vermicelli, mixed vermicelli, spring rolls, bread, sugar cane juice and tea and coffee, among others. Vietnamese food is very tasty, with lots of choice, beautifully presented and rich in spices. In addition to showcasing food, other activities were also held at the festival, such as art performances, folk games, and introductions to French Vietnamese books. This year, we held the food festival in combination with art performances on the big stage to introduce to the public the traditional culture and modern features of Vietnamese cuisine. The festival also received support from the local government in Paris' 5th district. The district is very supportive of activities from the Vietnamese community in France, introducing Vietnamese culture. Even though the weather was very hot, there was a lot of people at the festival, and the food was delicious. The IC Festival Vietnam is the idea of a group of young French Vietnamese who hope to introduce Vietnamese culture to the French public. That's all for today on Bin Food Radio, Television Station and Newspaper News. Once again, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.